guys, this is Alana from Comic Cosplay and today I'm going to show you how I get into my Nerd Gigante armor. So after three crafting videos, I'm finally going to show you how the whole costume is set together and how the attachment works. What you won't see in this video is me making more spikes because I'm done making spikes. <laughs> to get into the cosplay, I need to get naked first. You won't see this though, but what you can see are these sexy cosplay crafting books full of hot information about crafting. Whoa. And now enjoy the video. Whoa. First I had to get into my sexy armor underwear. This included black lycra stockings and comfy hot pants. When I'm dressing up, little Minna knows this means no playtime for her. The first piece I put on were my shin guards. Luckily, I could just slip into them. Next were the shoes. I actually used the same pair for almost every costume, just with different shoe covers. Slipping into them is a little bit tricky though. After that followed my upper leg armor. These pieces were secured with a lot of velcro at the back. For the brown leather belts I sewed in a silicone stripe which prevent them from slipping down later. Here you see the knee armor. It also has a piece of velcro on the inside which connects to the top of the shin armor. The belts on the back are also just secured with velcro. Same for the other knee. Next, the belt. It's a pretty massive piece with a lot of velcro inside. To keep it flat on my back, I added another belt to the outside too. This is also where I attach my carving dagger. So far, so good. The bottom part of the costume is on. Minna also kept a close eye to make sure I didn't forget anything. The breastplate is basically just a bra that I close on the back. The belts here needed to cross over my back. And Benny clearly had to help me. Ok, but I can do the rest. Now for the next step. As you can see, I added earrings to both sides of my shoulder belt. They are for the attachment of the pauldrons. The counterpart is a belt that I can just slip through the ring and close with velcro. Ok, the spiky bag is a little bit more tricky. After throwing it onto my back, Benny first had to attach it to the right shoulder belt and then I took care of the D-rings on the left side. Ooh, it's so spiky, I love it! The collar just goes around my neck and is closed with velcro as well. Next, I just slid over the upper arm guards and grabbed my bracer. No attachment here as well. I just had to slide into it. I was running out of time when I made the bracer for the slinger, so the velcro here is a complete mess. I will clearly add a zipper here next time. Following this, I needed to put on my gloves. This clearly looks easier than it was. And here's my slinger, which was attached with velcro on the back. Velcro everywhere! Luckily for foam armor, that's really all you need. Finally, only the helmet was missing. Just putting it on... And done! The costume actually weighs almost nothing and is pretty comfortable to wear. I just need to grab my dual blades now. Uh, ooh, uh. Sadly, this didn't work with the gloves, the bracers, and the slinger on. To solve the problem, I had to get rid of them first, switch the spiky bracer to my left arm, and cover my right one with some fabric. Yay! This works a lot better. Now I was ready for the hunt. As you can imagine, unequipping the weapons takes quite a while. But at least they look really dangerous. Thanks for 
watching guys i really hope this video was helpful and it maybe inspired you even to get into cosplay as well this was the very last part you saw of nerd gigante so no more spikes and now i'm super excited for my next project which will be reika from guns it's like a like sexy bodysuit with boobs and stuff and a huge weapon and lights and it's a small project i'm really really excited to take like a little crafting break from nerd gigante so uh yay if you still have any questions or some feedback just leave us a comment liking and subscribing is also very much appreciated and if you want to see more videos like this or support us check out our patreon see you soon bye bye